The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 7790 iCooler Turbo 1GB GDDR5 video card. This is a generic looking box that HIS uses for their 7700 series video cards. There isn't a picture of the product on the box, but most of us do research before we buy a video card anyway, and regardless whether you're picking this up in store or not, you probably know what it looks like before you are buying it, but there is some information about the product on the box, features and specifications, and the box also has a couple of security seals, one at the bottom and another one at the top. Now let me cut the one at the top and let's see what's inside. Included is this sheet which basically shows you how to install the video card correctly, a DVI to VGA adapter, and an installation CD, user's manual, case badge and remember to register your product at hisdigital.com slash member. Now the video card itself is packaged very well in this styrofoam and it is in an anti-static bag. Now let me remove it and let's have a closer look at it. This video card has a PCI Express interface of three and it's based on the Bon Air Core, which is built on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.08 billion transistors. Now keep in mind that the 7700 series video cards are considered entry level with the 7800 series mid-range and the 7900 series high end. However, this particular video card is on the tail end of the 7700 series and it does perform really well. As a matter of fact, it's in direct competition with the NVIDIA 650 Ti video card. Now it doesn't come with a blower style fan, but rather a standard GPU cooler and it is called the iCooler. Now this cooler has an aluminum heat sink with a large fan that blows air over the mini fins to dissipate the heat. And keep in mind that the base plate only comes in direct contact with the GPU and not the memory. The fan is very quiet at 28 decibels in 2D mode, but of course it will increase in speed when it's in 3D mode. And I will demonstrate that a little later on. It comes with four video connections, two dual link DVI connections, an HDMI 1.4A connection, which fully supports 7.1 channel audio and a display port. This video card has a six pin power connection and the approximate maximum power consumption is 85 watts. So just about any decent brand name, lower wattage power supply would do. Note also that it consumes less than three watts using the AMD zero core power technology, which is essentially standby mode. And thankfully this video card comes with one Crossfire bridge connection, which means you can connect up to two video cards in a Crossfire setup. Now this is the turbo version, so it's a little faster than stock. The core speed is 1,075 megahertz, that is 75 megahertz over the default core speed and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 6.4 gigahertz DDR. The default speed is six gigahertz. So it's a little bit faster than stock and that's always a plus. And of course you can always tweak and overclock it just a little bit more. It comes with 898 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data. 56 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is at 17.2 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 60.2 gigapixels per second. And the memory bandwidth is 102 gigabytes per second. Now have a listen as I increase the speed of the fan from 20% to 100%. Thank you. 
Great video card, you betcha. This is really the video card to get if you're looking for one in the 7700 series. Sure, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than let's say the 7750 or the 7770, but hey, get this one. It's overclocked already. You can still tweak it a little bit more if you want to. Plenty of features and technology supporting the latest games as well as upcoming games. And you can add another one if you really, really want to. It's kind of like a win-win situation with this if you are looking for a video card on a budget. Without a doubt, this is a great product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.